trajectory. Everyone, welcome back. As you can see, we have crashed onto a new planet. Uh, I know we have a save running on the other planet that I haven't played for a while, but I figured with the DLC coming out and everything, it's a great time to hop back in and check out all the new lore, new planet, all the new stuff, and kind of see well, what's new, I suppose. Uh, anyways, first things first though, let's see what our mission thing says and tells us. Uh, please ignore any previous attempts to terraform the planet. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance the process of terraforming this world. You will need to generate O2 heat and pressure. First reach 175,000 TI and create a blue atmosphere. So same as last time, we need to create sky, basically. What do we start with? Um, we have a little bit of food. We've got some water, some oxygen, kind of basic stuff. Not a lot though. Uh, we are playing on intense. So our O2 water and that, it goes down a lot faster. So this is not gonna last very long at all. Uh, starting off, we can craft basically the same stuff. Uh, we're gonna need our tier one backpack right away, as well as our oxygen tank. Those are gonna become critical. Uh, and that's obviously the objective. So first thing, this planet is crazy different than the last one. Um, these look like coral tubes or something in the bottom of the ocean, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like coral and stuff on that? That looks really... Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. What the hell is dolomite? Um, that's definitely new. I don't know what that is. Um, insert this into an ore breaker to extract rare ores. I don't know what the hell an ore breaker is either. I do know there's a chest here and it's got a bunch of stuff. We're out of oxygen already. Go, go, go. Pretty sure that had aluminum and iridium in it already, which is great. Let's just grab kind of what we need for now. This can sit here for the moment until we have space and everything for it. Uh, I'm just looking for kind of the basic stuff more or less than anything. We need a bunch of iron, we're full. Okay, we're full. Backpack, first thing. Equip you. So tier one oxygen tank is gonna take cobalt. Uh, I need some silicon, I need silicon. A bunch of it. Planet looks crazy though, like with the mountains over here. This is a crazy tall mountain. It actually really makes me think though, if this is like a coral tube or whatever those things are called at the bottom of the ocean, is water gonna get this high? I mean, look how high that hill is there. This one has another crazy mountain. If that's like to scale, we don't wanna be anywhere near this valley when it starts to flood. I doubt it gets that high, but I mean, it's possible. So this look and we can make our construction ship. We'll equip that thing. Now, I don't think we can do deconstruction until I get magnesium. I saw one right there. One thing I'm not seeing out here though is cobalt. Uh, so far I have seen zero of it around. I don't remember if that was like rare on the original planet or not though. Maybe I have to go farther out. I'm not too sure. This does sell us to do the tier one ore crusher before the oxygen tank though. So I'm wondering if maybe we have to like, crush that dolomite in order to get cobalt. All right, deconstruction is done. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really do here. So let's look at that. So we can do living compartments. Uh, that's all kind of the same tier two crafting station, a wind turbines, heater. Uh, tier one ore crusher breaks certain ores to extract multiple other ones from it. It does give us pressure, but it uses 3.12 energy and wind turbines only give us 1.2. Okay, so let's um let's get a meteor storm already. That's um not what you want to see. I'm gonna place this kind of just here for now. I don't want to stay in this valley because we're obviously gonna get water and stuff. Um, I really can't go anywhere while this is coming down because of the intense difficulty. If we die, we lose our entire inventory. So I don't want to, uh, risk it to be honest. I think that's the last one. We should be safe. I did risk it a little bit. There is a chest right there, which gave us one cobalt and a, a fabric. So we have some fabric early on, which is interesting. Um, we also got an extra food from it, which is going to be super important. But what I want to do here is let's toss out some tier one. Uh, no, let's toss out some turbines, wind turbines. 
Get you going. So that should give us enough for this. Now, I don't have any dolomite to actually um, put in there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it says right here. So, okay, well, we're out of power. We're out of oxygen. So, it says right here on the back. Um, dolomite turns into cobalt. Go away. Whatever that is turns into aluminum. And this crazy, looks like obsidian, turns into iridium, uh, uranium, and super alloy. So, if I put this in there, what does it say? Uh, disintegrates an item every 130 seconds. Number of items extracted is three. So, does that mean it gives us three items or it takes three items to crush? I don't know. So, while we're kind of waiting for that, we need to grab some ice. Over here, it looks fairly frozen. So, I'm going to assume there's ice this direction. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping because if there's not, we're kind of, uh, kind of going to be screwed. There's also a chest there. I don't want to go too far from base just because we don't have a ton of oxygen and I don't want to waste the reserve oxygen and stuff. Are we getting another meteor storm already? Oh my god. There's a ton of seeds in there. Uh, this could be bad. Okay, uh, just use it. With all these meteors, though, we should have no problem finding, like, resources anywhere near here. Like, there's so much... Look at how much stuff has landed right there. Like, this is actually crazy. Okay. This should have crushed them. Okay, so it does give us three items. We do have enough cobalt now. Let's grab that. Grab you. And craft our tier one oxygen tank. Now we can go at least a little bit farther out. We can't go too crazy far, but uh, a little bit is better than none. There's cobalt there. So it looks like these meteors might actually drop cobalt, which, I mean, now it doesn't really matter. I don't really need any at the moment, I don't think. So we have to craft our living compartment, uh, the door, the drills, all that stuff. I have the materials on me to be able to do that, but I'm going to go for a little bit of an exploration run here just to kind of see where we, what we have around. Obviously, we could put all this stuff at our crack, uh, drop pod there, but I kind of want to do a little bit of exploring before doing any of that. Uh, we do have lots of ice around, it looks like, so that's okay. I'm just kind of thinking there's a little bit of... There's a chest there. I'm trying to find some, like, higher ground area so that at least we can get a little bit off this, like... Okay, perfect. There's lots of iron there. Um, Get off this, like basin of the bottom of the ocean i truly think this is gonna flood fairly high let's place this down get some oxygen back looks like we have a cave here now i'm assuming this is gonna be frozen we pro oh i should probably take that right i'm assuming this is gonna be frozen and we won't be able to get in here oh no we can go in okay does this melt? Doesn't doesn't say if it melts. I'm amazed we can go in this far into this cave, though. Oh, is that uh, osmium? Yeah, that looks like it's frozen, though, so we won't be able to get that, I don't believe. Yeah, there is chest here. I don't want to go too far from our base just because we're going to run out of food and water and stuff, and I'm kind of not about that. Iridium, we need to get that early. We're gonna need some aluminum. Man, so much good stuff. Now we get a pretty good view of the valley from up here though. Uh, this isn't the greatest place though because there's a bit of a ledge here you have to jump up to, but this might be high enough. Whoa, there's a hole there. This is probably high enough to not have to worry about water for quite a while. I mean, we're not gonna get, we have to get blue skies before we even get rain. So I'm not too worried about it, but uh, I'd like to find a decent place to put our stuff down. This might be okay. It's just that it's not. It's not easily accessible when, uh, you know, we're desperately running up here. So I'm not sure if I want to do it here or kind of on that hill right there. What else do we see over here? It's really dark. There's something right there. Looks like a research lab or something.
so it's probably a waste of early game resources but at least this makes me feel a little bit more comfortable being higher up we don't have to worry about water i don't think at least for quite a while we probably wouldn't have to worry too much being down here either but i'm just thinking at least you know peace of mind this will also be cool once we get um like glass windows just being able to look out here i think will be pretty cool it's a pretty good vantage point and we'll be able to see like the changes of the world as they happen so i've already unlocked our well we, we have our tier two crafting station but we just actually unlocked with no power uh we just unlocked our tier two oxygen tank so we're gonna need to get that right away but i guess first thing we should probably put some more power down uh i do need to bring our wind turbines over they're still back at the uh at the drop pod there let's just put these kind of out of the way i suppose for now we'll need quite a few of them they only give us 1.2 which is just a stupid low amount of power um what did we need here we need titanium magnesium silicon and cobalt so tier two is equipped so now we're at what 200 oxygen which is better it's not um not great but it is better so we also need to do our tier one drill and our wind turbine our veget tube let's do veget tube first uh iron 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 i want to get these things going i brought over i didn't bring over a seed Ooh. bring some water i thought i brought some seeds over i know i saw a 300 percent seed somewhere let's run back and grab it real quick and 350 percent seed what will that give us it's going to give us uh 0.42 ppq per second that's going to use 0.42 power i need to get our screens up and going so we can actually tell how much power we have but i kind of want to expand this back by two first if i can uh it's a lot of resources to do that though It's also not very easy to get back there uh, at the moment. Before we can do screens, we have to do our computer desk. You just can't do it otherwise. It doesn't feel right. Uh, let's go with our energy levels to start. That's always important to make sure we have enough power. And then uh, we can do blueprints. We don't have this yet. And lastly, we need terraformation. Oop, wrong one. Uh... And that's the big one. Can we put this in a good spot? I mean, mm, I mean, it's not an amazing spot, but it, it'll it'll work for now. So we're producing a little bit of oxygen at 0.42 uh, per second. We have no heat so far and we have very little pressure. So we're at 237 TI. And basically that's telling us we can't get anything for a while. Uh, tier two backpack at 300 where is okay we're about to get yeah we're gonna get our living uh window soon veggie tube indoor ladder uh food grower isn't until 12 ppt so we're a long ways from that and we don't have hardly any food i've got like one here somewhere and we've got um like three or four back at the drop pod so I need to go grab that. I'm going to toss down our tier one drill. Actually, let's do that really quick. I think I have iron. I don't have any iron. What I was going to say is I'm going to toss our tier one drill and our heater really quick. And then I want to go over here because there's blue stuff there that I think it looks like solar panels, but it also could be chess. I can't quite tell, but usually in those areas have chess. And I really think we should go make sure we get some food. So let's uh find some iron set these things up and then go for a little bit of a walk all right not bad actually tier two backpack uh backpack fairly quickly to the unlock so we should be okay we'll, we'll craft that why what am i getting stuck on here uh i have noticed in this dlc so far the couple paths that i've ran between our drop pod and our base over here there is some places you can get stuck pretty easily what is happening here we're getting another meteor storm this doesn't look like it but what the hell is this it's blinding whatever it is so before i toss our drill down let's see we have like one not quite two power available so 
it's gonna be close but let's put our tier one drill just i mean just there is fine for now uh can we do our heater as well before we go out we'll put you right here for now all right we have enough power for that i'd like to add a few more veggie tubes so we can start doing that atmosphere stuff we need to do our progress screen and that comes from heat so yeah our biggest goal is going to be heat and we already have everything for our tier two backpack so let's equip that um i'm not gonna worry too much about our eh, should i just do it i've got everything let's just do the exoskeleton why, why not right oh it's the drill i was like what the hell is that noise i think i have enough resources here i've got some food water enough stuff to do a emergency little house thing so let's go and check out this research facility while we're slowly ticking up our TI. Uh, we can start adding more drills and stuff, but I want to just kind of see what we've got around. We've also like, we've kind of scrounged a lot of the iron that's in the immediate area. So we're gonna have to start expanding our way out anyways. So I'm thinking we can just check this out. This definitely looks like coral to me. There's no, it's either coral or bones. Like this looks like a clam, clamshell with a pearl, you know? So I, um, Big kill. I'm definitely thinking this is going to be in the bottom of a lake or something when this comes back, for sure. All right, we got uranium, uh, some food. We'll grab that. I'm not going to grab everything just because I'm hoping we get a whole bunch of stuff. Another chest here. I'm stuck. More fabric. Uh, we can deconstruct those. Ooh, cobalt, aluminum, magnesium. Okay. Storage crate. Microchips. All right, always good. And more fabric, more stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a note here. It's offline. All right. That doesn't help us, like, at all. All right, is there anything else? There's another one of those uh, solar panels there chest there's two chests here all right water bottle i'll take um the rest of this i'll leave for the moment so there's a cave over there or uranium we'll use that um uh, sort of all this iron i want to get as much iron as we can and then head back i think that's my plan another chest right there we should probably look at it on the way back I wonder how much of this melts as uh, we heat this up. Like that's a lot of ice there. Uh, it's a quite interesting little valley here. You can see there's like a big ledge right there. Uh, so much uranium. Oh my, that's awesome. If we can get a bunch of uranium early and then when we get nuclear power, that'll be so good. I can't really do much else till I add more power. I don't really want to add a bunch more wind turbines though. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to get, um, we can always get our resources back when we take them out. So two more of those will let us do at least one more drill and I think one more veggie tube, which I think we should do first. Uh, ice, magnesium. We've got a couple of seeds that are like 300 plus. So let's get them kind of rolling here. So oxygen's going up at 0.78. Our TI is actually going relatively quick now, which is really nice to see. Uh, we do have some more power available, so let's do another drill. And I think we actually have enough for another heater, so let's do that. Uh, silicon. All right, not bad progress so far. So I think, um, I guess I need to go get more resources and we need to uh, do some more exploring until we unlock more stuff. When do we get more oxygen? not for a while are we getting another meteor oh my okay this is not a great thing to be doing i am running in the middle of nowhere with no safety equipment um in a meteor storm we unlocked our windows though so that's nice <laughs> if i get hit by a meteor i'm gonna be so upset I can't believe how many meteor storms are on this planet already. Like if this is if this is how it goes, we'll never need to worry about resources. It's the third one in like 
25 minutes of play. Like, it's actually insane. They do also seem to be very condensed in the same area, which obviously makes sense. These definitely seem to be early game uh, meteors. So it seems like it's trying to populate the initial um, like resources, which is always a nice thing. So we're pretty much about to hit a uh, 1,000 TI or 1 KPI, KTI, whatever it's going to be. But I want to go and check out some of these, like some of these hills and just see what we're looking at. Uh, there's a way over that way and there's one over here. This looks like it's a basin or something, um, but this goes up. So I'm wondering if this is more of a safe area for us to go. And there's our tier one solar panel. So we'll be able to use that when we get back, which what does that give us? So tier one solar panel is 6.5 versus 1.2. So like, I mean, way better. Uh, it's a lot more resources though. It needs cobalt and what was it? Cobalt and silicon instead of just one iron, but I'll, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, definitely like a crazy rock wall. I wonder if we go up there. That looks so cool. If we can build on that ledge, you could do some cool stuff with this. I bet you that's all frozen. We probably can't go in there now. Uh, I don't know what's over there. Let's get some oxygen quick. So it definitely makes me wonder if this is frozen and if this is a ledge that like we can't do anything with, like if we can't go over it, I wonder if this all floods. It would make so much sense if this all flooded. It'd be crazy, but it would make a lot of sense. Food, that's a good thing. More food. The water, you know what? We're gonna drink that now. It's probably early to drink that and eat that, but that's okay. What is with this rocket? Um, can we, can we get in this thing? Is there a way in? Oh, it's just open. All right. It's not great. Uh, a couple of seeds, some fabric, some resources. All right. Not terrible. I definitely need to get the flashlight attachment because it is so dark out here. Another 350% seed. We definitely need that. And we definitely need the cobalt. But uh, I wonder if this looks like the same as the, the last one there. What if it has a microchip in it as well? It definitely does. Okay. What are these things? There's a message. It's also offline. Cellulose seed. So robots of some kind, we're definitely trying to do something here. It looks like it's uh, trying to plant a seed. Very interesting. Uh, I am curious on the lore of this planet. Like I didn't get super far in the last playthrough of Planet Crafter of, of the base game, but like, I am so curious on what the actual lore is of the planets. Like, you know, I hope we find some alien technology and stuff. In the last episode of what we did on the last series, uh, we found like a secret alien spaceship underground. And I wanna go back and check that out one of these days, but honestly, I've been kind of waiting because of the DLC. Uh, so I didn't get back into it, even though I really wanted to. Uh, I think we'll do that probably, well, maybe partway, partway through this uh, planet. The events on this planet are out of control, by the way. Um, so we'll, we'll think about going back there as we, as we do, um, or as we can, whatever. But I do think this planet is smaller than the original. But so far, it definitely seems more contained. Like, I don't know how far we can go into these mountains and stuff. There's obviously a cave there, one over by our base that we should really try to go deeper when we can. But uh, it definitely seems more contained for sure. Well, at the moment, we're not sitting too bad on resources. So let's add some windows. Uh, I was just looking here. So we are at 347 PK out of 500 for tier two veggie tubes. So I think um, I grabbed one more of these. Uh, what else do we need? That is all I need. I'm gonna add one more heater in here. That's gonna kill our power. So let's add a solar panel. I have just enough of what we need, I think. So that's basically gonna double our power, 6.5. Uh, takes the place of what five of those so we should have a decent amount of power now yeah we've got like five available so we barely needed that and that should also push us now let's see heat is 0.72 it's going up relatively quick we won't quite get here to 
today, but I'm thinking we're going to go and get our tier two veggie tube and our indoor ladder, I guess, as as lame as that is to be excited for. We should be coming up on our tier two veggie tube about now. There we go. So tier two veggie tube is going to take ice, silicon, magnesium and iron. It only uses 1.5, so that's not bad. I don't have any of these resources, do I? Let's toss a tier two vegetube there. Uh, I only have one seed that's 300%. The rest of these are all 200. So let's take this one out. We'll put one of those in there, put the 350 in there. So that one now is doing 3.36 per second, whereas these ones are doing 0.36 and like, 0.24 so way way better uh we're gonna have to up that quite a bit but i was just looking we have a decent amount of food i've got what five left here one in inventory we're about half a little over half full a little bit of water a couple extra extra water bottle uh oxygen bottles we're not doing terrible food is going to be our biggest problem but uh we're slowly progressing towards our food grower with the tier two veggie tube our um oxygen is going to slowly start progressing up and hopefully i mean we have to go we're at 1.2 out of 12 so we have a long ways to go for our food grower but i think i'm going to call well there's our tier three backpack i'm going to call this episode here next episode we'll make that backpack um if you guys have any suggestions on how high you think this water is going to get and if i'm uh if i'm correct then maybe this is going to be all ocean let me know in the comment section below but until next time guys i'm out of here I'll see you next time.